Hello, my name is Cheng Yong Nam from Brookhaven National Laboratory. Today I'm excited to introduce our technology called VIP, that's vapor infiltration photoresist process. It is a groundbreaking process technology for the next generation semiconductor manufacturing by extreme UV lithography. Now, what is the photoresist? It's an organic thin film we apply on a semiconductor vapor to parent transistors. Basically, we shine light such as EUB through a photo mask to pattern nanoscale transistors that are the basis for the modern electronics and the state-of-the-art computing hardware. Now, why EUB is so important? Essentially, this is the only technology that can support not only the current state-of-the-art semiconductor manufacturing, but also continuing device downscaling down to one nanometer which is the only way we can extend the Moore's law and go beyond to continuously improve the performance and energy efficiency of electronic devices. But there are many technical challenges for the EUB technology, and one of them is photoresist. So what is the problem? Basically, all EUB photoresist we use right now for manufacturing are organic meaning the main element in there is a carbon, which has very low EUB sensitivity. This leads to a much longer EUB exposure time and therefore reduced productivity, which is measured by the number of vapors we can process per hour. In fact, the productivity decreased by 70% compared to the previous generation DUB technology. That is why the industry is in a desperate search of alternative EUB photoresist. Especially they are looking for hybrid resist containing inorganic elements, like for example, zinc, tin, and so on. It's because they have high EUB sensitivity and therefore an ability to improve the productivity. Now this is where our technology can provide the solution. Our VIP technology infuses inorganic elements into existing organic photoresist using unique vapor processing. This creates inorganic containing hybrid EUB photoresist without complex chemical synthesis. And this is how the actual hybrid resist looks like after applying on a silicon vapor. We have a US patent application that covers our proprietary vapor processing and material compositions. So what are the benefits of the VIP technology? First, because we are adding inorganic elements, we can enhance the EUB sensitivity and therefore vapor processing productivity. In the lab scale experiment, we have shown 30% enhancement in the EUB sensitivity by infiltrating, in this case, zinc in a common organic resist. Also, we can easily control the composition, especially the type of inorganic elements without complex chemical synthesis. This is critical for the inline and on-demand optimization of resist performance in the manufacturing environment. And another benefit is increasing etch resistance of the photoresist. This makes the patterning the underlying semiconductor much easier. For example, this is a silicon nanofin structure with the ultra-high aspect ratio patterned by the VIP resist, which is not feasible for organic photoresist. Now, what are the competitive advantages of the VIP technology? There are two main competing technologies in the market. The first one is a conventional organic photoresist. They have low EUB sensitivity and they are based on a complex chemical synthesis. The other computing technology is chemically synthesized hybrid resist. This technology does have improved EUB sensitivity, but still based on a complex chemical synthesis. And therefore, controlling the composition and inorganic element is highly challenging. In contrast, our VIP technology can address all these issues because of the unique in-situ 
vapor processing. This enables an easy implementation in the manufacturing environment and the control of the resist performance and composition. Now, how is the market landscape? Currently, the semiconductor manufacturing, especially the high-end foundry market, is around $70 billion. In there, photo resist is $2 billion. If you zoom in further, the EUV photo resist is a $30 million market, which sounds a little small. However, there is a tremendous growth potential. For example, this year alone, the market is expected to grow by 90%, and by year 2025, it will become a $250 million market, with 50% annual growth rate according to a recent market report. This means by year 2030, it will become a billion dollar market, which is driven by the critical need for the extreme device downscaling down to one nanometer. To commercialize, we want to mature our technology in terms of technical specifications like sensitivity, resolution, and defectivity per manufacturing requirement in three years and form a startup company to license our technology to semiconductor manufacturers and equipment suppliers. Through the customer discovery interview with uh, senior managers at TSMC, Samsung Electronics, and Applied Materials, we confirm the critical market need and a keen interest to our technology. Also, we realize it's very important to work with industry partners to succeed. That's why the first key business task is identifying industry counterparts. In fact, Samsung Electronics Materials Development Team approached us showing a great interest in our technology. And we have started a discussion to form a research cooperation agreement. And we are very excited for the prospect. Overall, we expect six to seven figure investment to get to the commercialization. As for the team, myself, I have 20 year experience in semiconductor R&D, and I'm the technical lead and inventor. Nikhil Tiwale is a co-inventor and nanofabrication expert. Ming Yuan Zi is a characterization expert and will help customer discovery. Pruni Upadia and Yifan Fong at BNL Tech Transport will help the IP aspect. And we have a great team of business advisors who have long experience in startup incubation, project management, and communication, including David Hamilton, executive director at CBIP, Mark Wilson, co-founder of NewWorks LLC, Gary Chin, BP Action for Result Inc., and Tom Estet, professor at University of Rochester. Finally, we want to recruit a business lead and CEO who can start a company together outside the lab, which I believe is the most realistic way to commercialize our technology. In summary, the VIP is a groundbreaking hybrid photoresist process technology for the next generation semiconductor manufacturing by extreme UV lithography. We have shown the lab scale feasibility, including easy synthesis, element control, and enhanced EUV sensitivity and edge resistance. We have a US patent application covering our proprietary vapor processing and material compositions. We are seeking industry partners and investment to mature and commercialize our technology. I'm really excited about our technology. This is a niche high tech that can make an immediate impact to the critical U.S. semiconductor manufacturing sector. I really look forward to an opportunity to contribute to the U.S. regaining its leadership in this key technology sector. With that, I'd like to thank you for your attention.